salutations friends welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna be a quick one and I'm gonna share with you my, my one my, my one fragrance New Year's resolution so let's get into the video first things first hi my name is Kristen I run this channel called beauty meow it is a primarily fragrance related channel so if you like fragrance related content chit chat recommendations reviews and the like make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you can be notified when I have new videos up now I am a fragrance enthusiast and a fragrance collector I am NOT a fragrance authority YouTube is my hobby and it is a way for me to connect with other fragrance lovers out there so if you enjoy that type of content hello now, fragrance resolutions. I think a lot of people are like, I'm going to purchase less fragrances, I'm going to declutter my collection, I'm going to do this and this. Mine, it's going to be easy to keep because it's actually about spending, spending money. So my fragrance resolution this year is to actually make a huge dent in my fragrance must-buy list. So I am a fragrance collector and I tend to have a variety of different criteria when I purchase fragrances. Do I purchase them to review? Do I get excited about a new house and I just purchase everything blindly? Do I go to like TJ Maxx and see a bunch of fragrances I've never seen before and I just buy everything? There's a lot of different ways that I purchase fragrances, but I find that there are some very substantial fragrances that I love that I just put on my must buy list and I just like find excuses not to buy it. I don't know why I do it, but these are fragrances that I adore. I don't know why I haven't purchased them. So I decided this year, I was trying to figure out how I really wanted to approach my fragrance collection this year. And I decided to do a little bit of a decluttering. So I decluttered my collection. I, I think it's about 40 bottles. These are bottles of like kind of lesser known, like the kind of like off brand stuff you find at like TJ Maxx that I purchased to kind of wear around. They, they kind of turn, so I, I tossed them. They're, they weren't even worth trying to salvage or give away. They were, they smelled like, like Windex. But I did get rid of about 40 bottles. So I also wanted to, just just kind of take a different approach this year to adding fragrances to my collection because I was like going through my must buy list because I do have lists of fragrances that I want to review fragrances I want to check out fragrances fragrance houses that people recommend if you guys recommend something I write it down I have like notebooks and notebooks and notebooks and notebooks and notebooks all over the place and I just decided this year I want to really take a huge chunk out of my must buy list. So that's what I did actually the first of the year. I bought about three or four bottles off of my must buy list. I finally bought Lyra from Zerjoff that's been on my must buy list for way too long. I don't know why it took me forever. I bought two fragrances from Mika Leff and I believe that they are actually discontinued or going away. It's really so important for me to get those because I actually really love them. There's a few other fragrances too that I tracked down and I'm like, I'm finally gonna get these. So a few of the fragrances that are on my must buy list that I'm definitely getting this year, it's gonna be Melody de Lenmore from Dusita, Ohira from Stephane Humbert Lucas. There's a few fragrances from Amouage. There's a few more fragrances from Zerjoff that I definitely need to purchase. Van Halligan's, I need to expand the portraits collection. I did purchase Heartless Helen. I'm really excited that I did because I absolutely love that fragrance. There's, I'm going to try and purchase at least four or five more bottles from the Royal Crown. I have about 10 bottles from them and I think that there's about 18 to 20. So I need to try and get another chunk out of them to kind of round out my collection. And then there's a few very special fragrance houses that I haven't purchased that I want to support and add to my collection. Now there are one or two bottles that have been part of my must buy list for a very long time that I'm not quite sure I'm going to make it to this year, but we will see. And those are two from Raja, Chypre Extraordinaire, and uh, Haute Luxe. Those are two fragrances that have been on my must buy list for a very long time. They are very expensive, so we, we will see if I get around to purchase spending thousands of dollars on a bottle of perfume. Maybe. Maybe we'll see if I decide to just blow all my, my perfume budget for a month on one bottle. Maybe. But I am excited to really focus on adding at least one of these bottles a month to my collection because sometimes it would be four to five months and I wouldn't even look at my must buy list or wouldn't even like touch it to purchase. So I really want to focus and kind of add some of these fragrances to my collection and really just kind of beef up my fragrance collection with scents that I love and I don't know why I've been putting off purchasing them 
for such a long time. So that is my one, pretty much my only fragrance my only New Year's resolution, actually. I'm not a huge New Year's resolution person because I'm really bad at following them and I hate disappointing people. And I'm really, really good at disappointing myself. But I think when it comes to buying perfume, I really can't say no to that. <laughs> I think I'm really good at spending money on fragrance. So if that is a New Year's resolution is to spend more money on perfume, I think I, think I won't let myself down this year. So I would love to know what your guys's resolutions are this year. Are they fragrance related? Are they more reasonable than mine? I would love to know what these are. Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.